My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here today is a titanium kettle from a company called Vulcan. I personally haven't heard of this company before until I came across this product, but I looked them up, they offer titanium products. I can't say that they manufacture these products themselves. They look to be a relabel company, and what I mean by that is this. So there's a ton of companies out there who basically go to a manufacturer, they select the different products that they make, and then they have their logos printed on those products. This is a very common practice with Chinese companies. So if you go out looking for a titanium kettle, you will find about 50 different versions of this. All of them exactly the same for the most part. The difference will be the logo that's printed on it. With that being said, everyone, this is a 1000 milliliter titanium kettle. And the review begins now. If you decide to purchase one of these, this is what you will receive. You get a storage bag with mesh at the top, surrounded by polyester. You have a draw pull up at the top. And you also receive the kettle. With this kettle, as you can see, this is a very good size system here. This is a 1000 milliliter. That translates to 33.8 ounces or one liter. With this being made from titanium, this is incredibly lightweight. The kettle itself weighs 7.3 ounces. And if you throw in the storage bag, together it's 8.7 ounces. When looking at the kettle itself, you do have a lid that comes off. It has vents, and it also has this pull tab, which features some sort of like silicone tab on it. What I like about this is that there's enough tension on this tab for it to stand up. That way, when you put the lid on, the tab stands up and you can easily grab it next time. The kettle features two handles, as you can see here. There's a silicone grip, which basically connects the handles together. You can take this off if you want to. The handles themselves have quite a bit of tension to them as well. So when you stand them up, you don't have to worry about them falling over and getting hot. You can use the silicone grip if you want to. You can see how it attaches to both handles. With the kettle here, you can see with the pour spout, instead of being angled out, it's angled up. And that reduces the chance of accidental pouring from there. Talking about the spout for a second, you can see on the inside, there is a filter. This is built into the kettle, and that's going to limit what can come through that hole. This is the bottom of the kettle, and this is the inside. When it comes to the dimensions of this kettle, you're looking at three and a half inches high, and it is five and a half inches wide. Before I jump to my review of this kettle, let's do a quick boil test. I will make some coffee. It is always coffee time. So there you have it everyone, that is the kettle in action. It's coffee time, cheers, cheers. As you can see there, the kettle is a good performer. It does a good job of distributing the heat. You can heat up water, you can boil in this very quickly. Because of the filter, you can even cook inside of this. You can cook noodles in this and then strain the water. You can make loose leaf tea in this and then strain the water. While those are the benefits of having that integrated filter, there are some cons and I'll talk about that in just a minute. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and move to the review, starting with the pros, the good aspects concerning this product. So first off, this thing is super lightweight. 7.3 ounces by itself, 8.7 with the storage bag. It's very lightweight. The capacity is excellent. The quality is excellent. All of the cut work here is very smooth. There's no sharp edges, nothing like that. The way that everything is formed together looks rather nice. I mentioned before that the capacity is very good for this kettle, and that's the case. This is big enough for one person or even a group. The lid is very good. You have the vent, you have the grab tab. The handles are very good. They stay put, and so does that grab tab. When you set them up, they don't fall over, and I like that. Nothing's worse than using a kettle or a pot. As soon as you put it on the stove, you ignite it, the handle falls over, and it gets super hot. That's not going to happen here. Another pro for this kettle is that it cools down exceptionally quick. As soon as you turn off the stove, the heat begins to dissipate. And that's not the case with all materials. Ultimately, folks, as far as a kettle goes, this does exactly what you would want it to do, and it does it well. That takes us over to the cons, and the first one is this. This is expensive. Price of this at the time of filming on Amazon is $85. $85 for a titanium kettle is really expensive. You can find titanium kettles for about half the price. You could find titanium kettles that look just like this for around $60, $65. So $85 for this, 
that is a premium and it just doesn't make any sense. Speaking of which, the Boundless Voyage titanium kettle, it is $60. This is $85 and they're identical. The only difference is the label. Continuing to talk about price for a second, if you want to spend less money and you don't mind a little bit more weight, you can buy aluminum kettles all day long for about 15 bucks. $85, $15. A little bit more heavy, a little lighter weight. Ultimately, it's up to you what you want to do, what you want to spend. Because of the price discrepancy between this and other kettles out there, it would be my advice not to purchase this one, especially when this looks to be a relabel. Now, I should mention this, everyone. I don't know who sent me this. I went to the post office a few weeks ago, and this was in there. I would love to know if a viewer sent me this or if the company did. If the company did, they're probably regretting that choice right now because I do not recommend this product. For this price, I don't recommend this, even though it performs very well even though I like it a lot because it's a relabel and because there's similar products out there there's better ways to spend your money another slight con that I have for this kettle is that internal filter you may like this you may not there is some benefit but at the same time it does cause some frustrations let's say that you make cowboy coffee inside of this and it's time to clean it all of those coffee grounds get stuck in that filter the filter is doing what it was designed to do but at the same time it makes the whole cleaning up process a little bit harder than it needs to be. This would be much more interesting if that filter was somehow removable, but it's not. All in all, this is a great product, tons of capacity, excellent quality, very, very lightweight. It's just simply too expensive for what it is. When you can buy an aluminum kettle for 15 bucks, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If you're counting grams, then it makes a little bit more sense. But if that's the case, you can buy this product from a different company and spend a whole lot less. And that, my friends, wraps up my review of this kettle. Now it's your turn to sound off, folks. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this kettle? Is it worth the $85 price tag? No, it's not. Are you familiar with this company? As I mentioned before, I am not. This is my first interaction with their products. The quality is really good, just way too expensive. Sound off in the comment section. Hit the like button before you go. I do appreciate it. Everyone, be well. Take care, strength and honor. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.